Hi everyone, my name is Kelsey Prantis, Engineering Manager of Deos Development at Intel. Today we will have a quick look at Deos file system capabilities and provide you performance insights on our installation on the Intel Endeavor cluster. This is our recent service addition into a customer accessible cluster so users have the freedom to pick a storage configuration from the multiple options we're offering now. The Deo software stack started its path in the Intel HPC team, looking at how we could overcome the challenges of traditional distributed parallel file systems such as Luster. Shortly, we realized that in order to truly move the industry forward, we needed to innovate with a unique new architecture that could break us free entirely from previous fundamental constraints that were limiting performance, such as POSIX and block-based I.O., and to think beyond traditional HPC storage into new emerging workloads. Deos introduces new data interface capabilities, a rich feature set, and performance scaling advantages coupled with unlocking the performance potential of Intel's greatest hardware products, such as Intel Xeon Scalable V2, Persistent Memory, and NVMe SSDs. Previously, the Endeavor cluster offered traditional file system access, such as Luster. In this demo, we'll be showing a performance comparison of Endeavor's all-flash production Luster installation against the new Deos installation. Historically, the Endeavor cluster has a great track record for the performance of its all-flash file systems. Starting from the first all-flash Luster in 2012, leveraging SATA SSDs, we went through many iterations optimizing its design and layout. Today, it runs on modern NVMe SSD-based hardware with NAND-based and Octane SSDs. However, as we move to these newer generations of storage hardware technology, it became clear that software overhead is limiting the potential of the SSD performance, especially when it comes to small data block access, which is an attribute of many modern applications such as AI. For this comparison, each installation has been designed to be optimal for the respective technology. Here on the left, you can see the configuration of the Endeavor Luster file system and Deos on the right. The size of the installations is comparable, with Luster having 32 OSS and 8 MDS compared to 16 Deos nodes. To demonstrate the Deos advantage, we're using a subset of the IO500 test suite which includes an industry standard set of benchmarks, MDTest and IOR. MDTest is a metadata performance stress test. It measures performance of file creation, removal, attribute change operations, as well as bind operations. This is where distributed file systems typically struggle to deliver and scale performance. For the other benchmark, IOR run as IOR hard stresses the small IO performance of the file system and includes actual IO execution. The combination of these two benchmarks provides us a meaningful picture of the file system performance and is the foundation of the IO500 performance test. A few months ago at ISC20, Deos took the number one position in the IO500 list as well as the top three positions in the IO500 TEDNO challenge. Now, let's take a look at the IO500 running on the Endeavor cluster. First, let's review the Luster configuration. We have 32 OSS with 4 NVMe SSDs each, so 128 OSTs in total. Similarly, on the Deos side, we have 16 dual socket servers with 2 Deos instances each, so 32 Deos servers running over 16 physical servers in total. Here is the pool query showing this configuration, showing the total available persistent memory under SCM, as well as the NVMe available. Each socket has six DIMMs of Intel persistent memory, as well as four NVMe SSDs, for a total of 96 DIMMs and 128 SSDs. Since this is a long-running benchmark, we cannot show the entirety of the run here, so let's skip forward now to the results of our experiment. Let's begin with the MDTest data, taking a look at the results for MDTest hard write, hard read, and hard stack. As a reminder, MDTest is focusing on stressing the limits of the metadata performance of the file system. You can see that Deos performs far better for metadata. This is due to the unique capabilities brought to the architecture by Intel Persistent Memory, which provides byte granular, low latency access that is not subject to the performance limitations of large block-based I.O. and is perfect for storing small metadata information. 
Next, let's look at the IOR hard numbers, which is split into IOR hard write and IOR hard read. As opposed to MD test, this benchmark is focused on measuring the bandwidth of the file system. You can see in the results here that the Deo's performance again exceeds the Lustre performance, continuing to benefit from the bright granular persistent memory, from bypassing the kernel doing all of its I.O. and user space, as well as advanced algorithms for data placement. Between these two sets of benchmarks, it is clear that Deos has superior performance for today's modern workloads. I hope you enjoyed this sneak peek. I want to thank you for your time and encourage you to join the Deos community at www.deos.io and invite you to attend the Deos user group meeting during Supercomputing Week on November 19th. Doug is the place to meet up and hear and share Deos experiences and feedback directly with the Deos development team. We will be running live sessions and all sessions will be recorded and available later. We hope to see you there.